Hello children. Today we will start general science and our first chapter is living beings and non-living beings. So there are many more things that we should know about this world. This world where we live is wonderful and beautiful with various kinds of natural and man-made things. Now, natural things. You know what are natural things? The things made by nature are called natural things. So, now I will show you few examples of natural things. Just take a look. So, here are some examples. Mountains, trees, insects, animals, rivers. So these all are natural things. So our next point is man-made things. You know what are man-made things? The things made by humans are called man-made things. So here I have several examples of man-made things. So take a look. So see, man-made things are toys, container, furniture. So these all are man-made things. We have different kinds of plants. Different kinds of animals, birds around us. This makes the world wonderful. Some of the things around us are called living beings. Now we will talk about living beings. Okay? Human, trees, Plants and birds, animals. So, these all are living beings. You know why they are living beings? Because they have life in them. Now, we will talk about non-living beings. So, here are few examples of non-living beings. Now, the examples of non-living beings are car, bat, ball, toys, container. So, these all are non-living beings. Now, I am going to tell you about the special features of living beings. So, our first point is movement. Now, we will talk about movement. So, let's start. So, let's see. We can walk. We can run. We can jump. Dance. Skip. And all other activities we can do with the help of Legs. So you know how many legs do we have? Two legs. One leg, two legs. So we walk with our legs. You know animals, how animals move? So animals move with the help of their legs. Do you know how many legs do animals have? See here, four legs. How many legs? Four legs. Similarly, fish move with the help of fins. So, fish move with the help of fins. See? See here? I am drawing here fish. So, fish move with the help of fins. So, this is fish and fins. 
So fish swims in water with the help of fins. Like that we move with the help of leg. Birds move with the help of their wings. So birds fly in the air with the help of wings. But have you seen container move by itself? No. Someone has to push or pull it to move. Because container is non-living beings. And we humans are living beings. We can move from one place to another. But non-living beings do not move. Okay. So, our next point is food and water. Okay. So, come to next point. That is food and water. So, what do you do when you feel hungry? So, see here. What do you do when you feel hungry? We eat food. Right? And drink water after eating food. Similarly, all plants and animals need food. But have you seen container eat food? See here? No, because container is non-living beings and we are living beings. You might think that plants are non-living beings but they make their food with the help of sunlight, air, water and chlorophyll. So our next point is growth. We need food to grow. Okay. Why is food required? We need food to grow. Seed grows into a small plant and then into a big plant. You can watch the plant in your garden. A small plant in your garden grows into a big plant. Similarly, an egg hatches into a chick. See here, chicks. And grows into a hen or cock. A baby grows into a boy or a girl. Or a boy grows into a man. A girl grows into a woman. So all living beings can grow. Does a non-living being grow? Like chair grows into a big chair or tables grows into a big table. No, because they are non-living beings. Only living beings can grow. So today we have read up to third point. And in next class I will taught you next point. So your homework is you read up to growth from the beginning. Till that, thank you.